Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a live stream reaction here on Twitch. This one has been put forward and it's Black Veil Brides. It has been a while since I've done a Black Veil Brides song, to be honest. This song is called Save You Too. I do know one thing though, these, this band rocks. Okay, Andy Basak, let's see what you've got. Maybe your dad will uh, appear on my YouTube again and give me a co positive comment like last time. Let's go. I never knew how to live alone Holding my fear in the unknown mm. And if we only speak in tongues How can we be heard? Are there songs you keep? It's a different vibe. Let this be the one you use to start your own. And every word that came from you is carried me. So I'm trying my hardest to be what you made. Like a good gesture, my smile won't fade. Yeah. So it's someone who, who is an actual saver, you know, and they were born to do it, like you said. The basic message of the song, I mean, this is a very different vibe for Black Veil Brides, and well, it was until it kicked in. And it's it's hard to believe that this is the same band that when you check out some of the earlier videos, and they all look like, like very, very much like Kiss, if you like, with the makeup and the, the, the wigs or big hair, whatever it is. It's like, it's hard to believe it's the same band when you see them like this. They're all clean cut and stuff. It's uh, it's mad. Really good melody, this. Really, really good melody. I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, it, it's nothing too hard, really, in this one. Normally, I get the Black Veil Bride's lyrics wrong. But, I mean, he's, he's being very, very heartfelt here, saying that he's holding on to his scars and stuff, and that's what he needs. He needs help to let them go, if you like. And, you know, he wants to be like them, their maid. Because, you know, he wants to be like he doesn't care as much as the other person does. Or, you know, he can fob things off, whereas he's bottling a lot of, lot of things up like his, his well whatever his, the scars are not physical scars obviously mental scars is what he's talking about but i mean yeah this is a very very happy song with like a, a dark meaning dramatic Do good solos, these guys.
That guitar picking's really nice. Oh, they're on Sumerian records now. Hmm. Were they on, I've, what, am I getting mixed up with Falling in Reverse? Were, were they not on Epitaph at some point? Or have they always been on Sumerian? I'm not sure. I'm going to check the meaning of this song out, see see what he's talking about, but I do think it's uh, he's, he's crediting someone as being cool while he's ripping his own heart out, if you like. Right, okay. The song... Um, Andy describes it as a love letter to their fan base. Um, Saviour 2 follows along the similar vein, but more specifically designed to emotionally cater to some of the band's younger fans who, are, again, according to Andy, are really going through some stuff. So in other words, some of these in individuals reveal their innermost turmoils to these musicians and in turn, Black Veil Brides wanted to drop a song to show that they care. Even if Beersack understands that ultimately there is really only so much you can do, uh, via the insurance of a track so I thought he may have been talking to a person who was talking to the fans which is cool because you're giving a shout out to your fans I like that I do like that because it's uh, it's showing love both ways you know in showing I don't like it when there's a rift between a band and a fan base it's like everyone comes to watch them and they, and they don't acknowledge them that's what I don't like about some bands but when they do when they get crowd participation when they get shout outs when they get songs wrote specifically for them then you know it's a two way thing you know because a band is nothing without fans. End of story. The fans are the most important part of the gig. Otherwise, they're playing to an empty auditorium. Anyway, if you like my videos, then please hit like and subscribe, and I shall see you on the next one.